Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Wait. Did you neuralize them already? Yeah. Was I not supposed to do that? Bro, you weren't supposed to do that to the end. Well, you didn't tell me that. Anyway. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Cat Filmmaker. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at that Men in Black neuralization effect. Let's dive in. This tutorial, you're going to need one piece of footage, and that's of one of your subjects holding this. Now, this is just two flashlights taped together, and it creates a pretty convincing neuralization effect when in camera. But you could just buy a really expensive replica on Amazon. It's up to you. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's go. Okay, so we're going to import our footage and create a new composition with our new footage. Next, we're going to go up to the layer panel and select create new solid. Label this solid flare. Now we're going to create the burst of light. Go up to the effects controls panel and select lens flare. Then apply that to the solid and set the solid to screen. Now move the flare center to the center of where you want the light to be coming from. Now find the frame that you want the light to burst out of the neuralizer. For me it's when I slide my finger along the side of it as that was me pressing an imaginary switch. But for you it could be completely different. Once you find the frame, go to the effects controls and set the flare brightness to zero. Then enable the stopwatch. Go forward a couple frames to when you want the flare to fully engulf the screen and raise the brightness to match. If you want, you can change the preset of lens. I stuck with the 50 to 300 millimeter, but if you want, you can change it. It doesn't actually have to be your actual lens size as it's pretty much just for style. Next, I added some glow to the lens flare to further make it pop out from the background. And later, we're gonna add some practical lighting. Next, we're gonna add some lying to the scene coming from the neuralizer. Go to the layer panel and select create new adjustment layer. Next, you can add a curves and a glow effect to further brighten up areas of the scene. Simply use a mask on the adjustment layer to only mask out the places that you want the light to shine on. In my shot, I made my fingers look more blue as it further matches the look from the show, as when someone gets neuralized, it's almost as if you can see the bones through their skin. Once you've done the masking, then higher and lower the opacity of the adjustment layer to match the speed of your shot. And with that, your effect should be completed. Let's have a look. So you're telling me that you're not subscribed? Well, you know what happens next. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You know what? I think you'll enjoy this video. Looks pretty good. Actually, while you're there, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching.